Hi guys, welcome to Opportunity Elite. Today we're going to be having a look at developing our weaker side, helping us try and hit the ball a bit cleaner on that weak foot, maybe improve our passing, improve the dribbling, and allow us to try and get the ball out of our feet and score more goals. Now to develop your weaker foot, it takes time, but with practice we can definitely get there and help you become much more comfortable with it, which opens up a whole world of opportunities when you play. Becoming both footed is for me one of the most important things in developing a young player. We want to make sure that they're comfortable in all sorts of situations and if we can get both feet good on the ball then we're going to improve them hugely. So we want to work on some key areas to make sure that we are at that level where we could class ourselves as being both footed. Firstly we want to look at our striking technique on the ball. So here we're going to be having a look at striking it on our laces over distance as a lofted pass. What we need to do is we need to make sure we're focused on technique first rather than power. So many players come along and try and focus on hitting the ball as hard as they can with their weaker foot, which then causes them to lose technique, causes them to drag the ball to the side, over hit it or even under hit it and hit the, hit the ground. What we need to make sure is that we're focusing on technique before anything else. As we can see from the technique here, we want to make sure that we are keeping our body weight nice and controlled. If I'm leaning too much to one side or the other, I start to lose control of the ball and my striking part of the foot is the laces. But as I'm hitting the ball, I'm actually turning my foot to the side and bringing my knee over it. Once I've done that, I can then follow through on my laces nice and firmly and try and get a nice straight driven pass. The key thing to all of this though is keeping technique. Don't worry so much about the power, let's focus on the technique and then the power will come as a byproduct of that. Too many times we see players really trying to wind up and hit the ball hard on their weaker side. We don't need to do that, we need to focus on the technique first and then the power comes. So we've developed that lofted pass on the laces but now we want to try and have a look at maybe driving a little pass lower along the ground through to a teammate. Now, in a game, so many times a player can move the ball into their stronger foot and it limits their opportunity to pass that ball forwards. Now, we're gonna be looking at getting that ball onto that weak side and just playing a quick driven pass into them. So we must make sure that we're similar type of technique, but we're now not leaning back. We're getting our body weight over the ball. We're staying more controlled. The chest is staying forwards and we're not leaning to the left or to the right too much. As we go to strike the ball, we're gonna hit cleanly through on those laces and we're gonna point and follow through making sure our laces face our partner or our target as we follow through. Drive through the ball, keep your body weight forwards, don't lean too much to the side, and make sure you're making contact on the laces. Another area to really work on if you want to become both footed is the dribbling. Some of the harder things to do in football on your weaker side are actually the smaller types of touches. So the little dribbling past people or shifting the ball from one foot to the other. It's tricky because we can generate power and get used to hitting the ball with power on our weaker side. But one of the harder things to do is to move the ball quickly from one foot to the other or to use that weaker foot to bring it back into the middle after pushing the ball outside the defender. It's quite a tricky skill, so we want to focus on the dribbling. Just starting off by going through the cones as we have here, making sure we're taking lots of little touches. Now we're always focusing at the start just on using both feet on the dribbling, but then as we progress through the drill, we're going to start to isolate the foot. So we're going to start using that weaker foot only. As we do that, we can then start to help improve that weaker foot. And then once we're more comfortable in it isolated, we can go back to being both feet footed and try and increase the speed. But simple dribbling drills going through the cones, changes of direction, quick turns, are really important for improving that weaker side of your body and getting you much more controlled and comfortable on the ball. Our first touch is one of those key areas as well. 
If we can't get a good first touch, it's difficult to go and pass the ball, it's difficult to hit it over a longer distance or shoot, or maybe even dribble. So first touch is key, and if you're working at home, in the garden or down the local park, we can use the wall to really help develop our first touch. So just start with some simple little one, two touch passing activities, touch the ball out of your feet, try and get the control. We want to try and be assertive with our touch but without overheating it. So try and think about different little angles that we can take in receiving the ball, movement off the ball to receive, and just focus on getting that first touch out of your feet. The more that you can practice using both feet, the better that you're going to become on the ball. It's a tricky thing to do to control the ball on the weak side, but the more that we can practice that, the better and more comfortable you're going to become. And it is all down to training. The more that you train using your weaker side, the better you'll be and the less of a weaker side that you'll actually be. One of the last areas or the last area that we're going to look at is just striking the ball in a shooting technique. We want to try and look at hitting the ball on our shoelaces with the, that left foot or the, the weaker side, my left foot. We want to make sure that we're getting our body weight forwards over the ball. We're pointing our toes down and our ankle is nice and strong. If we get our toes down we can make sure that our laces are right behind the middle of the ball. And what we're trying to do is we're not just trying to hit the ball, we're trying to drive and follow through the ball. If I strike through the ball I generate more power. But there is always a tendency to try and hit the ball as hard as you can and then look up to see where it's going, watching it fly into the top corner, hopefully. But in those situations, when we hit it and look up too quick, we start to lose our balance and we start to fall back. As we fall back, we're losing that control and technique and our follow through is starting to raise and lift up in the air. Once we follow, up, follow through high, the ball starts to spin off. We might be hitting it on the incorrect part of the foot, we might be leaning back too much and the ball's lifting too high in the air. We need to focus on driving through the ball, keeping our chest nice and low. We can have a glance to see where the ball's going, but we don't need to lift our head up and lean back to see. Just a quick little look of the lift of the eyebrows you can see where the ball's going. We follow through, we strike with assertive nature, we hit it nice and cleanly, and we make sure that we're connecting on the laces. guys it's all about taking more touches on the ball with this weaker side if we don't practice it we won't get better at it it's not one of those things that you get better at overnight we need to practice a lot so the more that we can practice taking these touches the better that we're going to become and the more comfortable you'll be on the ball there's a reason why that we have a weaker and a stronger side the stronger side is going to be so much stronger because it's all relative it's stronger because we use it that much more the more that we use the weaker side the more that that's going to lift up and become stronger in itself so it's practice don't worry about making mistakes, we will do in situations like this, but the more touches you can take on the ball with that weaker side, the better you are going to become. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.